Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dress. Convoy. Oh, I <laughs> Show us what you I got, but not too much, okay? <laughs> the winner of Supermodel Me Revolution is none other than Hello, my name is Lucy Petit, I'm a French model in Hong Kong and in this video I'm going to be reacting to Supermodel Me Revolution Season 6 Episode 10. This is the final guys. Let's dig in right now. There were three. What a top three guys. As we're walking through the living room, we see some tables set up outside Whoa! and some bubbly. Time to celebrate! I have grown physically, mentally, and I feel like I already am a winner. Yeah, <gasps> absolutely. They deserve right, it. Oh my see. god. Top three models on the runway, we will go. And pretty soon, your final fates, you will know. Final week. Something crazy is definitely bound to happen, but you know what? Whatever it is, Love me bring down. it on. <laughs> Is this how the, the girls are gonna end up Nikki out first and then it's gonna be uh, <laughs> Hannah versus Queen Anne? Who knows? Maybe it's a sign. I love that. It's like girly women, like girls chilling, having fun together. And here comes the ring. Are they all gonna be there? As soon as you we think? open the door, we see all the girls. They just come running in. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's been 10 weeks already, it's guys. It's been so long since I've seen some of their faces. Nikki, Quinn, and Hannah, they're radiating this new energy. They're so confident. They've completely stepped up their game. And I feel like they're ready to be the new supermodels. It's so great that they get to meet again with the other girls. You know, notice the evolution that they had throughout the competition as well. And yeah, I just feel empowered as well because they're, okay, at some levels, well, they all got to a certain level of friendship. So it's good to have your girlfriends there to support you and cheer you up as well, right before such a, such a final challenge, right? This is the finale, guys. So this is such an important time for them. I'm waiting for the Tilby so you guys fight it out who's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Going into our final photo shoot, this truly gave me that extra push. Speaking of that, I want to thank you guys so much because you've been so supporting and so, you know, supportive. It's been a pleasure really to get to uh, talk with some of you throughout the comments as well. It's so nice to be able to all have different opinions, you know, uh, coming along the way to yeah, just like express ourselves because I'm just one of the opinions, so it's good to hear from you guys. And speaking of that, a few of you asked me to share my opinion on the girls' growth. So I'm going to start with Nikki first, which... Okay, in my opinion, if I was to rank the girls at this time of the competition, knowing what they've been through and the level uh, currently, I would say that Nikki, in my mind, is in top three position. She's a great model. She's got this, you know, gorgeous features. She's really pretty. She she grown so much as well from the beginning of the competition. Like she's still very young, so you can tell that she still need to mature. In my opinion, like she still has room to mature. But she reached such a level, knowing that she's only. 17 guys i keep on repeating myself and saying that but sometimes she was showing a bit you know a jealousy like she had a, a bit of her moment as well with priska at the beginning of the competition or even in the last episode speaking about anna saying how how of a commercial model she is and how nikki has more potential in being a versatile model it's still a competition, so in a sense, you know, they have to talk a bit bad about the other girls to promote themselves to a certain level, right? But I do think that she may still need to mature in the sense that myself, you know, when I was 17, when I was younger, I did things or thought a certain way that I grown from that and moved on. And, you know, you, you become more aware as well, more mature, you know, really what you care about and 
and not saying anything bad against her, but in terms of personality, I think she still has room to mature. When you become a supermodel, you know, this title of supermodel, you need to have and behave a certain way. You need to have a certain PR, a way to present yourself. And in that sense, I'm not sure if Nikki is really ready for that yet. But give her a few years, oh my god, she's heading in the right direction, trust me. <laughs> now, let's move on to the second one. Okay, this is hard, this is hard. Um, ah, This is why I didn't want to do that, to be frankly honest. I was always saying to you guys like, oh, you know, I'll tell you in the next episode and such, just because it's hard to choose like they they're all so great already and they all deserve to be supermodels they're just so different to one another that how can you choose one you want to choose different profiles different girls right but okay if i have to choose i will explain you why i think queen Anne is going to win the competition top one but first let's talk about hannah who i believe would be uh, the second I think she grew a lot, like she definitely changed in the sense that when she first started the competition, she's always been quite controlling and overthinking the situation, which sometimes, as I've mentioned before, can be helpful for you to know exactly what you want to be doing. But past a certain point when it's really like overthinking, it's good to be thinking about what you want to be doing, but overthinking it. It's too much and then it translates into your face as well because obviously when in your mind you're like thinking about all the different poses, things you gotta do, like move here, do that, do this, it can reflect as well in your face. So I think that she really evolved and became better at her facial expression, which was one of the main problems when she first started the competition. You know, when you're thinking TVC, advertisement, PR, public speaking, being able to Speak for yourself in front of people because that's also a part of the job, right? Especially when you become like a supermodel. I'm not sure if really Queen Anne would be the best for that because her English is a bit limited. But again, she can still practice more, that can still change in the long term, right? But for that, Anna, her English is just perfect and she's got this great commercial face. Now, she could be, in my opinion, she could genuinely do some high fashion, but it is true that she's so much more commercial than she's high fashion. Now, let's talk about my top one. Honestly, if we look at the overall competition, if we look back at it, Queen Anne, I mean, from the first episode, she definitely set the bar really high, showing what she could do on this crazy uh, hammock and that was not an easy task at all i think that she really can do all sort of modeling which makes her really versatile so that's a great thing to have and yeah as much commercial as high fashion she always she always strike it like challenge after challenges she always nailed it now again her english that may be something that sometimes may not play in her favor when it comes to some jobs. But again, that's something you can still practice. I'm still practicing my English on a regular basis. I'm improving every day. Came to Hong Kong not being able to really speak that well English at first. And now look at me trying to host some uh, internet TV shows <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Just to say, to me, honestly, Queen Anne, when you think about it as well, all the challenges, like she's been first um, call out order, <laughs> first uh, photo of the week, quite quite often, to be honest. I never count, but I saw someone in the, um, in the comments saying that she was one of the ones that had the most photos of the week. And just for that, when you think about it, she's just nailing it. You know, week after week, you never get bored of what she can do, how she can perform. Now again, bringing Hannah versus Queen Anne, they're both super lovely girls. Like, you know, you really get to, to love them throughout the competition. You, you get to know their personality, know who they are in real life as well, and how do they behave as well around other people. Knowing as well the way she was talking about it, like that's her first trip outside Vietnam, you know, she doesn't seem to come from a background where she's got anyhow 
privileged in in this competition that she didn't have any connections whatsoever i'm not saying that hannah got any you know special treatments all i'm saying is they come from different backgrounds you can tell they have different networks and connections that they can use as well yeah my my top three would definitely be nikki third then having hannah second and queen Anne first and in a sense, I think that the reason why maybe um, Subaru chose to have Hana as the brand ambassador is maybe because Hana is not going to win this competition. But let's see. What do you guys think? I'm always curious to know your opinion. So let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, I hope you like my, uh, my honest sharing. But again, love the three of them. And I really think that they're going to go really far because they're still so young. They're still are growing and evolving day after day and it's going to be so interesting to see where they are in the next few years all right challenge time walking into this final photo shoot we all have in mind that this is the make or break moment for winning the title of supermodel me that's right ladies i love the, the location the looks really cool shine of the disco ball i'm expecting you to be the brightest star of all so get ready shine to unleash through. all your killer moves you've learned along your supermodel me journey and show us something we've never seen before you're gonna party and i feel like that's very me i'm so yeah. ready and just gonna have so much fun and just put all my focus into it ladies, and dancing and modeling to that goes along your so <laughs> I love hey, that. Anna, your first five minutes starts now. Right. Five minutes. Sure. Make like it that. count. Kinda... Nice. She's got such a gorgeous smile as well. Perfect for it. Time's up, time's up. Let's switch it up and bring in the disco ball for your close up. Sorry. Right. Okay, Hannah, your All five right. minutes All starts right. now. Let's go. Woo! Oh, so Twice five minutes for, for two, we bring out the disco ball and second I look. just give it everything. I'm not a deer in the headlights. Yeah. <laughs> One, that's it! Your last break for the competition! Jeff, are you ready? Ashi, the first thing I want to do is scream. You want me to scream? Yes! <laughs> I really want to let it go, okay? Go! Come on, take it on camera. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm building up to it. Just. <laughs> And her Come kind on, of afro that they those. made as well, nice. the volume of it with the disco uh, yeah, so theme, this is really cool. Nice. Ooh, I love that. Cindy, she's yelling at me, she's telling me to laugh, smile, and it's really like helping me get in the mood even like more. Wow, yeah. Great. That's right like being encouraged on set like that you know being empowered and motivated compared to having people telling you you're not doing that great and that you <laughs> ah. nice. sensual sensual nice oh that's cool now is the time to shine Ooh. in this photo shoot something i'm more have fun. Yeah. Like sure, we haven't oh, seen her like smiling like so like much one, on two, a photo, three, so it would be nice to see a nice big oh, smile. <laughs> it's... Dress. Oh my god, I this. Show us what you I got, but not too much, okay? <laughs> She's got this great composure and she always maintains her face, she knows her angles. Yeah. She always manages to pull through an amazing photo. She's so creative on set. She always comes up with this crazy pose. That's how I was saying it would be so interesting to see like a series of shots rather than having just one final for each girl because that's the best way as well to see how creative and versatile they can be on set, right? Because you can have one amazing shot, but that can be perhaps your only shot among a bunch of other ones. Rather than when you look at Queen Anne on set, she's actually really 
giving it again and again. She's got so many different poses. Like Nikki did really well actually on this one early on as well. And yeah, all, all the girls, they're, they're doing great. I'm so proud of, of what they've achieved after uh, all these weeks. We'll be proud of us because yeah. we top three and we this is so amazing. After 10 grueling weeks, we finally have our top three models. Each of them come with their own unique character and I think they make a very worthy top three. Hannah came into this competition. I feel that she was very much under a lot of pressure to prove yeah. herself. Because as well, she wanted to outshine her sis, not outshine her, but prove that she wasn't just a little sis, right? So, yeah, no wonder why she put so much pressure on herself, which is probably why as well she was overthinking a lot when she first started throughout this competition. But in the end, like throughout the weeks, she did really well, so. And learned how to let go as well and be more in the moment rather than in her head. I think she is a great spokesperson. She communicates well, she's really yeah. personable, and now that she's won the Subaru brand ambassadorship for her latest photo shoot, I think Love she's going to be a great spokesperson for your brand. We're looking for somebody that embodies all the traits you just mentioned. I can so do it all. I'm quite happy to see that. Nikki, our youngest girl in the entire competition, since she is so young, she has so much space to grow as well. Yeah. Wherever this exactly. journey takes her, it's really just the beginning of something very big. She's almost like a communion. Like, mm. I see week by week, she did not look the same at all. I think in terms of just experience, give her a few more... That's very true. Like now that we can actually see as well some of the old photos where it brings back some uh, some memories from it, she rarely looked the same on any of her photos. And that's really good to do because that shows that she can express herself in so many different ways that she will never run out of poses or facial expressions, you know. And as Cindy says, she's really a chameleon. Like she can really adapt and understand what she's supposed to be giving on set, depending on the theme, the mood and such. So good on her for that. Like 17. Woo. This is, this is great. She's going to go really far. Quinnan came into this competition, one of the more experienced models. Yeah. She came in with quite an impressive Yet she's debut. only 21 uh, as well. She's pretty young too. Runway model. She won best photo the first week, just like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she had us completely wowed. She came in hot. Killed it. This, we've been kind of judging her at a higher standard. It all yeah. comes down to confidence and trust in who you are. A strong image, that's enough to get your foot in the door, but to really enter it as a supermodel takes character, mm -hmm. takes personality. So you've come a long way, but who has right now that X factor that's gonna take it to the next level. I can't believe we're finally here. It's the finish line. This walk is really just a celebration of our journey and how far we have come over these past 10 weeks. It really closes this incredible journey that we've been on in this competition. Looking back in time, she really can journey, speak really well. I feel Hannah. very happy. I'm not regret anything because I'm here and I'm Ricky so far. Yeah. I am ready for it. I think she's still a bit young to be called a supermodel, to be honest. Oh, they're all gonna work, that's great. Cool makeup looks. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret fashion shows behind the scenes. <laughs> Zelen killing it for sure. Of course. Cool. I wonder if the girls had a training. Like, what did they do while they were waiting to um, have the final three? Maybe they were on a contract in Singapore during this time. Who knows? They probably had an, you know, NDA not to disclose anything. Where who is that? 
That's a cool uh, runway walk. Like a runway design set. Queen! That must be different walking on the floor versus walking on the <laughs> on a crane up the hill. You know, when they had this challenge with the the uplifted runway, this is not the same feeling when you're on the floor. You can tell they're much more confident in there. <laughs> Yes, girl. I'm so proud that I've made it here. No matter what place I get in this competition, I know I have had so much growth, not just as a model, but as a person as well. English is not my first language, but it didn't stop me in this competition. Yep. I'm here to prove that you can be from anywhere in the world and you can still be a real supermodel. Nobody can take this moment from me. So fierce. Love it. This attitude. Like, so powerful. Yeah, they did get so much more confident compared to the, the beginning of the competition, for sure. Stunning. And Runway, this is the place to showcase that confidence. Alright, who is it gonna be? Models. Yeah, I love the outfits. The hunt is on for the world's newest. It's like black models. swans, but powerful yet sexy. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool. She's taking a lot of room in the photo, right? There's a lot of nice uh, shapes being created. Great photo, killed it. I love as well. The hair is moving. She's got this fierce look. Um, it almost looks like a bit too much going on maybe in the legs, but it's, it's, no, it's great. It's great. Let's just face it. Good job, Hannah. Well, Ooh. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous that you guys were dancing on set. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but the energy I thought she didn't like it from her first through, expression. It shows that you're having a She's lot kind of, of like, fun. What do you I think? I also love that in this shot, your eyes are giving Ooh. Yes, definitely not a day in the headlights anymore, girl. No, she's killing it. It's really like strong and powerful. Like she knows what she's doing now. It's killing it. You're giving so many different angles. Yeah. Very well done. Well, Hannah, you totally look like a disco diva right there. But if I must critique a little bit from your picture, it's for the fact that your fingers are a little bit dead to me. I am... On the right hand, because the other one is kind of nice. He's showing a few fingers, but yeah. Looking forward for you to model from head to toe. Oh, nice. She's got this super cool reflection as well of the disco ball on her face. Like the lighting is super nice. She's got this, this different facial expression as well. We probably never saw her like that in any of her photos yet, where she's a bit like quite surprised and... It works. I, I kind of like her uh, close-up photo better than the full body. The full body was, was great, full body shot great, but maybe a bit too natural in a sense. But hey, that adds a bit of drama to it. So that's also a good thing. <laughs> this one I really, really like. Yeah. Far more than the full body. Mimi. I can yeah. see this image on the pages of Apple Bazaar magazine, that's for sure. Anna, this is one of my favorite shots of you in this competition because I feel like with this, we can really see your growth. It's in the eye. <laughs> I love the week after week, this is like the same. We can really see your growth in this one. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a really stunning shot on the runway, Hannah. I think you'd probably agree with me that you are 
slightly greener than mm -hmm. the other girls. With that being said, a walk is something that can easily be worked on, be yeah. improved, because it's all muscle memory. It's really about And it's about that so just attitude, keep working yeah. on it. Okay. Confidence and attitude. That's interesting. I don't know, what do you think? I've got a, a mix feeling about it. As in, I find it really interesting. There's a lot of movement in there, but at the same time, the hand that she has at the front, I wish was somewhere else. But the legs and the movement, the hair, the way it's flying as well, and her expression, this is really cool. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's very like disco-like, you know, retro. Yeah, just that first hand, there's always this thing, this poses like this the I never understand so much of the I don't know I'm not a fan of like the proportions when it comes to that but it's still a good photo come on and I love the movement so good job I love the use of your body in this shot you knew how to elongate yourself you completely transform you in real life and the Nikki there in the picture are yeah completely different person yeah but I love when she models and when she's there as a person you like a lot of models, but embodying that yeah, like, disco diva. That's what I love about it. Definitely a testament to the. I really like the fact that she's actually hugging the ball. <laughs> this is this is not something you may be thinking of doing actually. Uh, her facial expression as well, like the, there's a story to it. I've got mixed feelings about Nikki's photos, but in a sense, like it's so different to the kind of things that I would picture doing. That it's also very interesting to see that. And it does look really nice. I just wish that, yeah, her back wasn't as arch. It was a bit more like a stronger hugging, but stronger. It looks like she's holding it and it's, and it's heavy. <laughs> we can feel that love for the disco right there. There's definitely a story to it. Definitely a testament to the intensity that you have in your eyes. I'm instantly drawn into that stare. And yeah, I think her there's eyes so much like... power in that. And you should be very proud. You know what's amazing about this shot is that you are posing next to a giant disco ball. I wish it was a bit more the than that. Well. And yet you are outshining it. What? Do you know how hard it is to outshine a disco ball? <laughs> How hard it is to outshine an object. <laughs> Good job, Nikki. You were alive in this shot. <laughs> and yet, here you are glowing. Well done on your last photo shoot, Nikki. You have to really work on kind of toning down the swagger that you usually have. You know, she's all like, oh, hey, it's it was perfect for street fashion, but not for very couture gowns. Really liked your walk because of the swag. Like you had like these shoulder moves and you were giving attitude. I thought that because she brought that into the couture vibe, that she stood out yeah. to me. I really yeah, admire it's about attitude. I like it pose too. And stick another pose. Queen Anne. I mean, she's the queen, come on, look at this. Do you see that flamingo dancer emoji? What? Flamingo dancer emoji? <laughs> this is it, right? It's very similar, she nailed it. And look at her long body, like the curve of the back as well, elongating her leg until the tip of the toe. And the, the shape creating with her elbow in there, like, it's stunning. She's even like working with the sign behind her. <laughs> you know, it's, it's working the shapes together. This is so cool. Everything, look at her. Okay, the fingers, the way her fingers are on her head, it's just perfect. It's just a little bit of it, but not too much, not in an awkward way as well. And she's catching, okay, I did not notice that at first. But she's catching her um, dress with the with the other hand. It's pretty cool. Nothing else to say. Just stunning. Good job. I don't know if I've asked you this before. Are you a dancer? No. She I'm looks not like good one. Dancing. Not good at singing too. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a great model, so she can make it work. This shot is so.
so strong. And the angle of your neck and your chin just draws this gorgeous continuous line all the way yeah. to the end of your toes. Yes. That is literally head to toe modeling. You know where your light is and even just the small detail of how you're just hoisting up that chain mail with that other hand. It's yeah. so subtle, but it just fits into the brief of you're just caught in a moment of little you details know, and makes it so perfect. At the end of a crazy dance. Yes. Oh my god, if it's just based on this photo shoot, guys, I think Queen Anne is gonna be the winner. This is amazing! I like the fact, okay, compared to Nikki's one, I like the fact that she's using the ball, but you can't see just the ball. She's still like the main one in there, not the ball, right? And she's just killing it. The shine as well on the boat, you know, the lights. I don't know if that was post production, if they maybe like touch it up as well to make it even more shiny, sparkling in the right spots. But where it is shining right now on the disco ball and on her earrings, it just makes it perfect. Now her face, I'm glad we're seeing her a bit smiling compared to the other photos we've seen before. She looks like she's really having a good time, you know, enjoying, you know, dancing and it really goes well with the theme. Okay, I'm gonna have to critic a bit because I always critic, critic them all, right? And not critic in a, in a way that I think I'm better in, in any way because I do, I can also critic my own photos, right? Like I'm just pointing it out. But okay, her hand at the top of the bowl, the fingers, if it was just a bit more relaxed, then now it's to be like pointing towards the camera. But that's a tiny little detail that is nothing compared to how sublime this photo is. So really, both, both of the photos killed it. I may still prefer the first one, the full body shots, but stunning! I actually love your full body more than your close-up. There are certain things that I pick up when I see this image. First of all, yeah. it's that finger. So yeah. we're asking, is she hoisting up the ball or is she dancing? I think you really understood the brief of couture runway, the way that you held yourself. Your movements were very minimal. I think you did yeah. an amazing job. So yeah, much yeah, elegance I mean, and grace. Here we are, the final moments of this competition. And you pull back. Guys, she, she's back. gonna win. I can see why they kept on referring to you as the runway queen because you owned it. Whatever the results, Hala you should Queen be Anne, extremely proud of yourselves. I really it's think Queen Anne. Judges to deliberate and when you I return, think great I will too, be but... revealing the winner of Supermodel Me. <sighs> what is your pick? All the way from London, she is a reality TV star and star management London top model scout, Ruby Adler. Hi, Ruby. Hi guys, how are you? Great. Oh, I wish you could be here with us. Me too. I wish I could be there as well. As a perfectionist, you overanalyze and you hold yourself on such a high expectation that you're always thinking everything. Is in your head. And I think yeah. that's exactly what Hannah is slowly learning to break free from. You know what? I thought her final image is really strong. So many people are going to fall in love with Hannah. All of them, they're amazing, sweet girls who have shown that they don't need to just you know like not need but they don't they're not just pretty let's put it this way they also have a lot of personality they are very kind girls they can really um have a lot of empathy towards each other they're really supporting each other that's a great thing to see as well among models that it's not just a pretty face there's so much more than that and they may need to still learn and grow and evolve because it's you know a learning process right no matter where you are in your journey you're still working on getting better at what it is that you're doing, growing into becoming that next level, better version of yourself. No matter the level, the journey, you're always working on that growth. I like how you can kind of radiate the energy from her and it's so expressive, which is so nice to see. Um, I think she's beautiful. I think she's, you know, really quite striking. I see Nikki as... They really all well deserve a contract model, storm, come on. <laughs> I must say again, the facial, like I kind of like the, the playfulness of it. I'm not sure if that's the best photo she had in the end compared to what we've seen when she was actually shooting, right? Like the facial expression, this one is, it's, yeah, I'm not sure if that was the right moment to capture it, let's say. But it's still a really good photo. You can feel the movement and, and the playfulness in it, so.
that's good and performances and that's really what we're looking for in a supermodel at that age what you're talking about to absorb the things the negativity the industry will throw at you requires a pretty holistic approach to health i mean the lack of stamina that was on a day that which they were shooting swimwear and she didn't eat right she was saying that oh you know i forgot to have lunch or whatever you don't forget to have lunch it's probably just that she wanted to be looking at her best but then again she's 17 what does it mean like if she's getting on huge contracts where there's a lot of pressure you know as bad as it sounds there's there's a lot of models who get into a bulimia anorexia you know who gets into this eating disorders because when you're in such an environment that sometimes you get affected by it and if you're not that mentally strong she did become better throughout the challenges and her experience during the competition but that's something that can really affect you and being that young as well that can be a challenge this week I feel like she was in her element in terms of the runway she was gliding down that She's runway always she in her element had a model couture. <laughs> looking at her runway performance like she really delivered and it was really powerful yeah. when she nails the pose oh my god supermodel right there yeah. but if it's not within the area of the pose and it's anything outside of what she had in mind it's a miss say what I mean she rarely had photos that were bad also has that great energy personally also out of the three girls when she steps forward in front of us i can feel her radiating with positivity <laughs> gazing and even though she does have that language barrier it doesn't hold her back it doesn't affect her in a way that makes her conscious and that means she's only gonna get better as well at expressing herself in a different language it's just about practice right you can hear it it's not her photo yet but that's something she can work on the same way that some other girls can work on their walk right give her a year she'll be bilingual or take her to london so she can practice her english <laughs> I think she performed really, really well. She definitely deserves her spot in the top three. Well, this is it, the final moment we have all been waiting for. Thank you, all of you judges. It's time to call the girls back in. Before we call the girls back in, right, I wanted to personally thank you, each and every one of you, for watching the videos. That means so much to me for being there again, you know, coming week after week and commenting and participating to the comments and sharing your own opinions as well. That means genuinely so much to me. I've told already quite a few of you, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you so much. There's only 3.4% of you who are subscribed. There's 96.6% who are not subscribed. So please do subscribe. I will be doing more of this um, reaction to Model TV Reality Show in the future. So I'm looking forward to have you as well on board. Do not miss them. And at the same time, I invite you to check out hkmodelcamp.com and sign up for the newsletter if you want the latest news about my uh, new venture business that is just starting. It's all about modeling tips, building uh, confidence as well. And uh, yeah, some events that will be happening in Asia. So stay tuned for that. And thanks again, guys, for watching. <laughs> Are they all there? And so we challenged you to break down the barriers of your professional self and your personal self in order to really embody the image of an empowered woman. My only concern is, will you be able to keep that up should you be given the title of Supermodel Me? Hannah, with your pretty face and protective so, yes, skills, so, yes. you are the silent slayer in this competition. No matter how tough the challenge, you were determined to rise and showcase that you can do it. Have you grown enough experience to really be supermodel worthy? This competition only has one spot I think she's in the right direction, for the title but, of yet. Supermodel Me. And after oh. a very long journey, it is now time to reveal who will become Asia's newest supermodel it's gonna be legend wait for it Hannah. wait for it 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 all right here it comes good job hannah oh 
almost there. And now we are down to two. Oh. Dairy. Legendary. Do oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry. I completely misunderstood that. I was like, okay, this is... I thought it would be cheering a bit more for her. <laughs> okay, so Hannah is out. All right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you are only steps away of being Supermodeling's brightest and boldest All right, so, so it's, it's going to be Queen Anne. Go. Come on. The winner of Supermodel Me Revolution is none other than... Yes! Nice! <laughs> she deserves it. Yeah. Me, Nike, is by for the good out there. Just follow your dream. If you want to become anything in the world, just go for it yeah. and do it. She's a great role model as well, besides just being a model and now a supermodel. She definitely deserves it. She is a queen, for sure. Oh <laughs>